Hello, Fucus. This is going to be your August 2019 reading. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me. The AC is on. It's hot, so uh, especially with this light on, so I have to keep the air on if I'm going to do these readings. So I will try to make the volume as loud as I possibly can so you guys can hear me, okay? So for this particular reading, we're going to be seeing how your partner feels about you throughout August 2019, okay? Uh, we are still in the retrograde as I'm doing these readings, but as we know in August, things go direct, so communication should be better, things should be moving forward, okay? Take the retrograde and really think about what happened during this retrograde, and those were the lessons that you were meant to learn throughout this time, okay? So see what we have going for a Fucus partner in August 2019, okay? If you need a personal reading with me, everything will be in the description below. All the services that we offer here on 13 Signs Tarot. If you want a reading from me personally, you'll go to my website, harleysworld13.com slash tarot. Those are all the services that I offer. Email pendulum readings and romance oracle readings are done by another reader. She will eventually start adding videos to the site, um, actually to the channel. We're working on that now, so you guys will get to see her read. But for right now, she's just taking care of those email readings and things like that. So if it's a quick option and it's cheaper, it's most likely done through her. Okay, all my readings are at like 72 hour turnaround time right now. Okay, and those will be purchased through my website as usual. Okay, all right, so let's see we have going on here all right so nice the six of wands that's your first card some of you could be done with the leo energy all right your overall energy is the eight of swords so this definitely sounds like retrograde to me um you maybe have not been communicating with this person um this could have been longer than retrograde you could have been not communicating with this person for a long time depending on your situation okay um, we have the Queen of Swords energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, this person, um, if they haven't been communicating with you, they want to come back and communicate very clearly with you, okay? Of course, we know this could be an air sign, but they want to communicate very clear. They're very clear-headed when it comes to you now with the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. This is action and drive, so they definitely want to take action towards you. If you've been dealing with maybe a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, and you've been wondering if this person wants to come back towards you, this to me definitely tells me they want to come back towards you very passionately, very fast. If you two live at a distance, this person could want to come visit you, okay? We have the Nine of Wands. So their current energy is, is the Nine of Wands. So this to me feels as if they're with someone right now currently. They're with someone right now currently um, and their other relationship that they're in is coming to an end, okay, with the Nine of Wands. They may be growing tired of juggling two people or, like I said, their relationship that they're currently is is coming to an end, all right? We have the Hierophant, yep. So a lot of you, this can be someone who's married, okay? This is the Shaman card, so this de technically can represent a Fucus for me, but it's naturally Taurus in the tarot. They could be married to a Taurus, or they are just literally, um, you know, married, okay? And like I said, I feel their marriage is coming to an end because the Nine of Wands to me is someone who's growing tired. If this isn't a marriage, maybe they're not married, then this is a, a job that they're in or some other commitment that they're in in their life that is almost coming to an end and is allowing them to be with you. That's why they're going to be very clear in their communication and they're very... Um, clear-headed about what they want and I feel this is because the retrograde maybe took a toll on their committed relationship or their job whatever this is and then we have the eight of cups as the outcome card so with the eight of cups as the outcome card I feel that this is a person um, again that may have walked away from you I will say this this person is definitely going to come back and communicate how they feel. They are going to tell you very clearly how they feel. There may even be some sex for those who are on a sexual level with this person. There could be a passionate encounter. But the main thing that I'm seeing with this Eight of Cups is because they're not fully done with their relationship, they will walk out of your life again. For some of you, this is a ghosting energy or this is someone who's walking away particularly to end this commitment and then come back around. So I would say tread lightly with this person. If it's a situation where you don't want to be intimate with this person until they commit to you, then I wouldn't be intimate with this person this go around in August. I do feel that communication will get better. I do feel they will give you the clarity that you need, but I do really feel with this Eight of Cups, they're gonna be walking away again, okay? 
Not right away for a lot of you, but for some of you because they're not fully single yet. So why is the Eight of Cups here? This could all happen in August, okay, throughout the month of August. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups, three, two, one. Seven of Swords, yep, I told you, they're not fully single. So they can't, they're either cheating on their spouse or they're lying to you, but probably both, okay? Um, three of Swords, I do feel eventually, they may walk away for some of them for about three weeks, another month, and then I feel they'll be having a new beginning. They'll be coming back, okay, uh, with the full card. But it's all about if you want this person, but I really feel because they are still married or still in some other commitment, they are going to walk away from you again. A lot of you may like get your hopes up because this person's speaking real good and they're speaking really clearly, but they're still like deceiving you in the sense that they're still in a third party. Okay, so just be careful with this person, okay, and getting too wrapped up into what they're saying right now, okay? And those, you know, this is going to resonate with who it resonates. It may not resonate with everyone. And of course, it can be the Afucus doing this okay so remember that it's a vice versa energy everybody that watches tarot knows that it can be who's dealing with the fucus it's whoever's watching this video so if you're cross watcher watching this and the fucus is doing this to you then you need to um you need to watch it as if i'm talking to you about the fucus okay so this person will come back towards you, or if you're the cross watcher, the Afucus will come back towards you, but they're not single all the way, okay? Past life relationship. This is why this person keeps coming in and out of your life, I feel, because you two have a past life relationship. You have a karmic connection. And this definitely talks about karma, this type of energy. I'm not seeing a twin flame union here. I'm not seeing anything that indicates this is a twin flame, but it's definitely a soulmate or someone that you shared a past life relationship with, okay? So take that as it resonates. That's, you know, if you don't want to continue this cycle, then cut it off. But just know that when this person comes back around in August, they're still not single and they're going to ghost you or again or walk away from the connection again. I really feel they strongly believe that. And not all the readings can be positive. This is more of an omen for you all that this person does have feelings for you. They will talk about a new beginning, but this is not that time where they're actually going to implement that because they're still not single for a lot of them. Or they're still not in a capacity or a space for the type of relationship that you may want a fugus, okay? So I hope that this resonates with you guys, cross watcher and a fucus alike. Please leave a comment if you guess this really, really helps other people see the video and brings more people in and it brings more awareness of a fucus. So that helps you guys out. It helps me out. Okay. You guys, eventually you're going to start seeing keychains with a fucus on it. You know, you go to all these places and you see all these other signs, but you don't see a fucus. We're going to get, we're going to get you guys notary and recognized. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. And again, if you need a personal, make sure you check out the links in the description. Okay. Bye.